Hi, welcome to the Infinite Actuary's first Facebook Probability Problem Challenge. I'm David Ravel, our instructor for our seminar in Joint Exam 1 slash P. And we chose this problem because I want to emphasize the fact that when you have a discrete probability problem, one perfectly valid approach you can take, especially when there are relatively few possibilities, is simply to list out all the possible combinations. Here, we're interested in getting quotes from three different painters. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some notation. I'm simply going to let A, B, and C denote my three different painters. And so now, as I indicated, I just want to list out all the possibilities. And so I have my three painters, A, B, and C. And what do I mean by all the possibilities? Well, one possibility is A gives us the best bid, B the second best, and C the worst. Another one is A gives the best bid, B gives the worst bid, C gives the middle bid, and so on. We have three painters, so there are three factorial or six ways that we can list all these different orders. And now let's figure out, using our method, which painter would we select in each one of these cases. So in the first case, A is the best painter. I reject A and regret it right away, but the point is I reject A. B comes along, has a worse bid. C comes along, has a worse bid. But I have to pick somebody, so I'm going with C because I've already rejected A and B. Or if A is the best, I reject A, B is a worse bid, I again accept C. If A is the second best bid, well then, in the third case, I'll accept B right away. In the third case, I'll reject B because B's bid is even worse than A's, but I'll reject C. I'll accept C. And then finally, if A is the worst bid, then we'll accept B's bid. So now what I can do is I can say, well, what's the probability that I, in some sense, won? What's the probability that I had the very best bid accepted? Well, we can just count them. I accepted the best bid in cases 3, 4, and 5, and not in the other one. So the chances that I won was 3 out of 6, or if you prefer, 1 half. And so that's one perfectly legitimate way we could do this. It would be a good approach on an exam where, as I said, if we have a small limited number of choices, we can just list out all the possible cases and just count stuff. I can do that in less than six minutes. We can also try to be a little bit more clever about this because that approach wouldn't work if I had a huge number of individuals. So another way that I can think about this is, well, what's the probability that I win? Well, if A was the best bid, I'm guaranteed to have lost. So there's zero chance of having won if I'm in the situation in which A gave me the best bid. If A gave me the second best bid, then what do I do? I wait until I get somebody who gave me an even better bid than that. So the probability of winning in that situation is 1. And finally, what happens if A gave me the third best bid, which in this case is the worst bid? Well, there are two bids that are better than that. There's a 50% chance that the next time I see a bid that's better than A, that it's the best bid, and a 50% chance that's the second best bid. So there's a one-half chance that I win in that case. All these probabilities of A being whatever are all equal to one-third, and so this just gives me zero plus one times a third plus a half times a third, which gives me the same three-sixths or one-half that we had before. 